Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be going over another five top mid-tier money-making methods. I find mid-tier money-making methods to be the most important because they apply to most people. And anyway, let's get started. Okay, coming in at number five is actually a new method that just became available recently with the Revenant update, and that is charging Revenant bracelets and alking them. Uh, for some reason, when a Revenant bracelet is charged, it actually gets an alk price of 45k, and you can actually buy them off the Grand Exchange for I don't know, 43k sometimes. I bought these for like 43.5k. Uh, the cheaper you can get them, the better. Now, the reason I have listed this method uh, in number five is because it's very click intensive pretty much the whole time, which are one other at a time, charge one bracelet, and continue on. Because if you withdraw more than one, it will deposit all of them, and it's just a waste of money. All you have to do is charge them with one. And another thing that's a little annoying about this method is that these bracelets don't stack in your bank. So if you try to deposit them all, um, they'll take up 26 individual bank slots. It's so dumb. Anyway, so basically what you have to do is alk them right after. Now there's this message that comes up that you'll have to skip through them. Every time it's going to say it's a high value item, but you alk it anyway, 45k. For this method, there's a huge variance in how much money you can make. I'm probably going to make about 500k an hour. Um, but depending on the prices you get the items that you can get quite a bit more. So the only requirement for this method is high alchemy, however the reason I'm putting it in like a mid-tier level video is because of how much money you actually require to do this method. Like I only bought 60 of the Revenant bracelets and it cost me almost 5 mil. So to do this for an extended period of time you'd need 30-40 mil, but uh, anyway you can sell it right back after so it's not that huge a deal. So with these two inventories I made 54k, so it's a pretty easy method, it doesn't have a high skill requirement but you do need a lot of money and uh, you need to be patient because it's pretty click intensive. Coming in at number 4 is an extremely basic method that uh, I actually used to do back in 2007 and that is collecting and climbing boots from Tenzin. Now there's only a quest requirement for this, you need to have access to getting the climbing boots. Now besides that you just need a tiny little bit of money, like really not that much at all. He sells you boots for 12 GB each. Uh, another requirement apparently is you want to have a good internet connection because I'm in Ecuador and the internet here is pretty crappy. <laughs> so it's actually a pain in the ass to do this right now. Now all you're going to want to bring is Graceful and some teleports, a ring of dueling and a games necklace to teleport back to Castle Wars after and then subsequently back to Birthorp. Um, so you're just going to talk to him and hold the one button and the space bar. You're not going to actually leave the chat dialogue because he gives you an option to buy another climbing boot before you exit. So you just hold one in space bar and you'll slowly go through and collect all the climbing boots. Now if you're doing this on a good internet connection and paying attention, you can do this in about three and a half, four minutes at max. And you're actually going to look to make um, around 400k an hour with the current prices. Now sometimes climbing boots go up to like 1k and then you're going to make a load more. Okay, so there we go. We pretty much got a full inventory here. Took me a little bit longer than it should have because my internet's bad. But yeah, basically after that, you're just going to teleport back to Castle Wars, and we'll just do a quick price check here. Uh, the climbing boots actually aren't worth the most right now. So right now, you might be getting three or four hundred k an hour. Um, but if the prices go up, you can make even more. Obviously, everything is going to be price dependent. And another benefit here is the climbing boots sell extremely quickly. Uh, they sell like three or four hundred of them every single hour. Coming in at number three is actually the Fossil Island Wyverns. Now these have actually gotten a nerf recently, or rather I should say a buff. They got weaker, but their drop table has stayed the same. Uh, so it's actually very quick to kill. Uh, now their drop table is not nearly as good as regular wyverns. However, you can kill them so much quicker and they're closer to a bank and you can even teleport back if you really want to. Um, you're going to need reasonably high combat stats and I think a slayer of about 66. So it's definitely on the higher end of, well, it's still kind of mid-tier. So all I am bringing is a whip. Now there are better weapons, but the whip is just it's a pretty cost-effective weapon that does pretty well against them. Bring the full superset and the holy wrench. I'm bringing one per potion because I'm going to be flicking piety. Now these things drop per potions a lot too, so you probably won't actually spend any money on per potions if you take that into account. So yeah, I'm going to do an actual full hour here because I want to test them on myself to see how much money you can make. And we'll come back and check in every inventory. Okay, so here's the first inventory and I got actually pretty lucky. I got a U seed and a Renar seed. Uh, so bringing our first inventory up to 200k and it took only about 15 minutes. Uh, I would say it's on the higher end of normal though. Next up, uh, only 81k from the inventory. It didn't get any really good drops. So we'll add that to our total here too. Uh, next up 100k, so that's about 380k we've made so far. And I think we'll do one more inventory. 
Um, about four inventories an hour is pretty average. You could do a little bit more, I think, though. And last up, another 100k. So we made about 480k in an hour. If you take off the cost of food and per potions, you're probably looking at about 450k. Now coming in at number two is a very good consistent money maker. The only requirement here is going to be the completion of the Enlightened Journey quest and you'll need 50 fire making to unlock all of the balloon routes. Uh, now what we're going to be doing is making mahogany planks. Now a lot of you guys may have done this back in the day by running here, but actually the quickest way to do it is with the balloon transportation system and it's just a lot more fun overall. So basically all you're going to need once you've unlocked all the balloon routes is one little log, a bunch of cash, and all your mahogany logs. You're going to run up here to the basket, you're going to use it and uh, teleport to Rock, which is actually right beside the uh, sawmill operator. From there you're just going to run a tiny little bit north, buy um, some planks from him, and then you're going to teleport back to Castle Wars. Simple as that. Okay, so we'll do it one more time and price check how much you make per inventory. I think right now with the prices I bought the logs at, it's about 4k, but you can do these inventories so quickly. The only drawback here is you need a fair bit of money that's really quick to do the runs, and I spent uh, 40k per run on that mahogany planks. Let's do a price check before and after. We'll check everything in. Uh, we're looking at about 472k, and once we go ahead and buy the planks, we are looking at 477k, so maybe 5k for inventory. Um, so you're going to need probably 10 mil maybe to do this efficiently without having to go back to the Grand Exchange all the time and sell the planks. Uh, but yes, one of the best and pretty actual low level money makers that you can do. It's always going to work best with the mahogany planks though. Okay, coming in at number one is probably one of the best consistent money making methods and that is the blast furnace. What you will require for this is 60 smithing, a coal bag absolutely, and ideally ice gloves it really helps out and uh, full graceful or any other weight reducing equipment will be extremely useful. So for my inventory I just have the coal bag and a stamina potion. You could withdraw and deposit the stamina potion but I find it to be a little bit too much more work than it's worth anyway. So what we're going to start by doing is withdrawing an inventory of coal, filling the coal bag and then withdrawing um, another inventory of coal. Because what we're going to be making is mithril bars and I can do this with steel bars and it's just a little bit less money currently. Um, but I'm going to be doing it with mithril. So you're going to deposit an inventory of coal, empty your coal bag, and then deposit it again. Now you're going to go back and withdraw another inventory of coal, and then deposit it in your coal bag, and then an inventory of mithril. So essentially you just need two inventories of coal per one inventory of mithril ore. Uh, normally you'd need actually four inventories, but on the blast furnace you need less for whatever reason. So now we're going to go ahead and deposit the mithril ore, and that's going to be one complete run. We're going to get 26 mithril bars deposit it and then we're going to actually empty our coal bag and deposit the coals. So now once we go withdraw another inventory of coal and mithril we'll have done once again another full run. So once we've withdrawn the mithril bars we can see if they're actually worth 19k. Okay so now we're going to withdraw an inventory of coal and deposit in the coal bag an inventory of mithril and then we'll have done pretty much a full cycle. Every two runs is going to reset it so nothing is in the blast furnace. Uh, if you mess up and you end up with like some random bits and stuff in there it's best to just clear it out with the required amount and then go and restart from scratch. Withdraw again from the bar dispenser and then we go, we've done the full run. Now right now this is making me about 600k an hour depending on how quickly you're doing it. Uh, prices change a lot but it's really consistent and it's always been pretty good. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the five mid-tier money making methods. They're all pretty good and they can all make you upwards of five or 600k an hour. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.